Time for another rapid response type of video. This one is for Mark in Spain. Mark says, Hi Bruce, I'm not sure if you remember me. You made a video titled Choosing Omega Over Rolex about my choice to turn down a James Cameron Deep Sea Sea Dweller. And then you made another video later when I got my James Cameron Deep Sea Sea Dweller down the road. Well, I have added another great piece. Well, at least I think it's a great piece. I managed to get on the list for the Silver Snoopy 50th Anniversary Omega. I did wait 12 months, but it was totally worth the wait. Here is a picture of my big three. Well, big to me as I am not rich, just hardworking, and I have a very understanding wife. Kind regards as always, Mark in Spain. Mark, I love getting these types of messages. I love that people who are just watch collectors, watch enthusiasts that are hardworking, get the watches that they're looking for. Yes, you did have to wait one year, but actually for a silver Snoopy 50th anniversary at retail, I think 12 months is a very reasonable wait. It is an in-demand model, probably top two, maybe top three when it comes to the brand and it has appreciated on the secondary market like crazy. And that is tempting for flippers to get one and then flip it and make those thousands of dollars. And when that happens, essentially, uh, they're booting a true watch collector, a true watch enthusiast that doesn't care to sell or to profit off of an in-demand hype model. It delays you from getting the watch that you want to wear and enjoy. Now, when it comes to this specific model, yes, I do think it is a bit gimmicky, and I love that. I love space history. I love the Apollo program. I really enjoy peanuts. So this watch is just a conglomeration of multiple elements that I think are fantastic. I'm excited for you, Mark. I think your trio now, your big three that, uh, that you have, you should be very proud of. Those are some awesome sports pieces, and I would imagine that that silver Snoopy plays pretty small or fairly diminutive after wearing the hefty and awesome James Cameron Deep Sea Sea Dweller or your full ceramic limited edition Planet Ocean Chronograph. I think you have some very fun pieces. And if I remember correctly, Mark, you also have an Omega tattoo, so who better uh, you know, for uh, your authorized dealer to offer that in-demand Silver Snoopy 2. I think that's awesome. And I will end with one thing here. I know you, Mark, from our communications, and I think that you had a reasonable weight with your authorized dealer because it's clear to them that you're not a flipper. You're a watch enthusiast, and you're not just trophy hunting. You're not asking for Pepsis and Cermits and Panda Daytonas. You're not asking for only the trophies. You're asking for what you're really interested in, whether that's an in-demand watch or a slightly obscure watch or a very gimmicky watch. And I know you're not afraid to say no if you're offered something and the timing's not right. So I think more watch collectors should try to do those things. Be patient. Ask for what you're looking for and uh, you know, not trophy hunt unless the only watches you like are trophies then I think you're going to have a harder time, and that's just the reality of the market. And I will leave you with one thing that might offend some of my viewers, but you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it and offend some of you watching this video. But there is a clear difference between being patient and polite during the process to get a very hard to come by in demand watch. And, you know, groveling, begging, and what else? What are the other terms? Playing games, jumping through hoops just to get the watch you want. I think those terms are often over-exaggerated from trophy hunters that are clearly frustrated by the lack of instant gratification. So I'll just end with this one thing. Mark, I hope you wear that silver Snoopy in good health, and I hope you take your wife out and tell her and show her how much you appreciate her, how much you love her. I hope you guys have many years of health and happiness. Thanks for reaching out. And those of you watching right now, if you have a question for me or a comment for me that you would like me to do a video response to, send me a brief email. I will look through all of them. I'll pick my favorites and I'll do a rapid response video. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.